All right, we're going to work on part 1E. It's a little more complicated part. Um, we're going to start a new drawing. This is an English drawing in inches, so we're going to click this one. And we're going to get our base. And this is a little taller. I think I can go probably 2 to 1. We'll try 2 to 1, see if that's going to look good. Probably about right. Left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, create. Come here, right click on this one, edit the view, turn the color on. All the same things we always do. <clears throat> okay, uh, so we're going to go to annotate. And annotate is how you put in your document stuff. It's what this whole unit's about. So one of the first things we want to deal with is we have, we have holes here. And uh, you'll see that you know there's holes straight on, and then there's there would be a hole going through this way. That'd be that hole right there. And you see the hidden lines on the sides of the hole. Here you have the hole straight on right there, and then you see the side hidden lines of, of those holes here. And then here you see the hidden lines of that hole going through, and you see the hidden lines of would be both holes because you're looking at it from this angle right there so one thing we need to do is for any straight on hole circles like this we need to put in a center a center mark and so right here you see a center mark then you go to the center of the circle and you click on it and you put in center marks in all the straight on circles it's important the other thing we need to do is we need to put center lines uh, center axes through uh, the holes this way so that's right here so you grab that Let's see this um, right there. And you can come here and you can click on that line and that line, and that'll put a center line through it. And I can do that here and here, and I can do it here and here, and I can do it here and here, and I can do it here and here. And that way I can actually dimension you know, to those uh, center lines also. So that's the first thing you want to do when you have holes. You need to uh, put in center marks and uh, center lines, and that'll be very helpful. And then we're going to start dimensioning this. So first thing we're going to do up here on let's uh, let's go down here on this one, the main one. Um, I want to dimension from the bottom <clears throat> all the way up here to this center, this center hole. So I'm going to come down here and click on this, click on this, pull that out. And leave that one on there. That's good. I'm also going to uh, dimension from this side to the center hole. We want to want to locate that center hole. That's kind of important for this uh, particular drawing. So I'm going to click on this and uh, this. Pull that up. So I have that center hole kind of located. We want to really locate center holes. That's kind of important for. And you want to do that on the part where you actually see the circle. So we want to locate that circle, the center of that circle on the part that we have that um, shown. Okay, so uh, some of the things, um, I can dimension some of these other things like over here on another part. So one of the things I want to do is I want to get all these curves uh, dimensioned. So um, I can get the uh, this outer curve here. I can click on that, bring that up. And you'll see that's a one inch diameter. Hopefully it's right. If it's not, you're going to go back and change your drawing. Um, I can click on this inner one here bring that out that's a half inch diameter and then I can come down here and get this curve here pull that out and I'll click on that now the but on this one it's important because this is a radius of a half an inch here but we have an exact same one over here and so instead of doing it over here also uh, the the documentation is that I would click like in between here in front of this and then hit a space bar and then I can put in 2x space that means and if I do that then you'll see it says two times there's a radius of 0.5 and that's that's in two places on this part and that's obvious to the person that 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 means this and this are both 0.5 so that's a designation uh, that you should get used to using if it happens in multiple occurrences, then you can put how many times it's happening and, and just just dimension one of those things. And that's extremely helpful. Okay, so I think that's about all we're going to put on that front part. Um, I can come over here on this one, and I can get this height right here, and I can put that over here. Might be a better place to put it right here. Just pull that out. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to do some uh, depth here. I'm going to... I'm going to get this depth and then this depth all the way across there. So I'm going to do a, a baseline there. 
and do this, this, and this. Right click continue. Right click create. And probably want to do some moving here so, so we're not all kind of clustered up there. Okay, and that'll be good enough on that one. So I'm going to do a lot of dimensioning on this one because obviously I have some circles, so I need to find the center points of those circles. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is so I'm going to start with a baseline and go from here to the center and then all the way up to here. Pull that out. So now I have it to there. I can then also, I need to dimension that circle. So I'm going to go from here to there, pull that one down. So now I have that center of that circle uh, dimension from that corner right there. Um, this goes all the way across there. So I have that one kind of vertically done too. I do want to do that horizontally. So I'm going to come here and here and pull one down there. Try to keep it level with that other one there. And we will uh, we'll go ahead and dimension the whole thing too. Whoops. I'm going to do that. Let's uh, dimension. Let's get out here on the edge. There we go. I pull that down and blow it. Good. And that, that's helpful then because now I have the centers of the circles dimensioned. I know where they're at. And then I know the overall dimension, so I would actually know how far it is in between these two things also. It would be an inch in there. These are filleted, um, so we're going to have to dimension those. Grab onto those. Pull. Try this again. Okay, we want to get it there, so there we go. That's a little bit better, so nice little leader line there. And I'll click on that. Now you'll notice that happens twice. So again, we're going to come here in the front of this, hit the space bar, let's do 2x. So that means I know that this is filleted at a quarter of an inch, and so then this one is also. I have two holes that are identical also, so that's going to be helpful. I'm going to dimension that, pull that up here. And of course, this is going to be two times also, so I'm going to try to get in front of there if I can. Man, a little tricky. Okay, now I, I want to do one more thing. So, so wherever all these angle brackets are, by the way, that's that's where your dimension is. That's that's putting in your dimension for that. So we don't leave, we leave them there. So in front of that dimension, I put that that I want this two times. The other thing I want to put here is that I want to put um, that this is all the way through. The holes drilled all the way through. So we do a T H R U uh, symbol on there. Click OK. So I have two holes here, they're half inch diameter, and they're drilled um, all the way through. And actually, yes, that means we messed up here. Right here, this hole's all the way through also. So we're going to come here and we're going to we'll right click on this. Um, let's see, edit, and then uh, we can type through on that. That hole goes all the way through, and you need to designate that if that's, if that's happening. Okay, um, I think it looks like, let's see, we know from there to there is, is that, and there to there, we have it there. I think we have everything dimensioned that we could actually manufacture this part from the drawing. That's the key. You, you need to be able to document a drawing so that someone could take this now and go and like create it in Inventor. And... Uh, that's a lot harder than it sounds. There's, it's very easy when you're doing these drawings to miss a dimension somewhere and you wouldn't even know it until you try to go make this part and then you realize you don't exactly know how far it is somewhere. So uh, that can be, can be tough. So this one's kind of a tricky one. So of course we sign our name again in the title block and then we save it as a JPEG.